Welcome back to Educator.com. Today's lesson will be on the circle of fifths. So our lesson objectives will be um, basically drawing the circle of fifths, understanding how each key relates to every other key, and playing through the circle of fifths on the keyboard. So we're going to start with the note that's on the very top, C. And we'll leave that there because we're going to draw the circle over here. Um, the circle of fifths ends up becoming an actual circle with every key at different spots on the circumference of the circle. We are also going to explore related minor keys to the major keys. Okay, so what we do is we start with C. C has no sharps, no flats, this is the very top. The related, we're going to draw a little circle on the inside. The related minor key to C is A minor. Okay, so let's play through C on our keyboard. Okay. Okay, so to find the related minor, the relative minor, you go down two notes from the name of the scale. Here, it's easy because it's all white keys. C, B, A, but when we get into black keys and lots of complicated key signatures, um, you need to count half steps. One, two, three, four, half, four half steps below the name of the major key. Okay? So the relative minor shares the key signature of the major scale. They share the same key signature, which in this case is nothing. Okay, moving on to the next key in our circle of fifths. So we'll start with the C. We're going to be drawing this a lot. G. So C and E. G. Excuse me, C and A. G and E. Why is it G and E? Let's find our keyboard. Here's G. Let's count down four half steps from G. One, two, three, four. So you're so good at theory now, you know there's three forms of minor scales, and you're wondering which form of minor scale is the relative minor to G major. We always use the natural minor form in this case. Thinking of melodic and harmonic, which have changing notes, is a little too much, so we'll just use our natural minor to think about this, relative minor to the majors. So, G, the key of G, has one sharp. So we have the relative minor, and let's write one sharp over here. So, let's get into why it's called the circle of fifths. G is the fifth note of the key of C. That's it. So let's go back and fi figure out how that works. Here's the key of C, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, G. G is the next key. Let's take that little clue and apply it to G. What's the fifth note of the key of G? One, two, three, four, five. D. D is our next key we're going to be exploring. So let's move on to D. Now we're on D. We have C. We have G. We're going to be drawing these every single time we get to a new slide. So it's going to be lots of fun. Good practice. By the time we're done, we'll be so good at drawing this. It's really fun. Okay. G is the fifth note of C. D is the fifth note of G. The relative minor to D is B minor. So. Here's D. We have two sharps in D. Let's count down four half steps from D. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's play B minor using our two sharps. Easy. This is another really good way to remember your minor scales. So, next, let's count on our fingers the key of D, D, E, F, G, A. A is the fifth note of D. A will be our next key. Here it is. So, beginning at the top, we have C, G, D, A. One sharp, D has two sharps, A has three sharps. Okay, minor is A, 
relative minor is E, relative minor is B. Let's look at the keyboard. Okay. The relative minor to A is F sharp minor. Let's go to A. As you remember, the order of sharps, the first sharp is always F sharp, the second sharp is always C sharp, F sharp, C sharp. The third sharp is always G sharp. So we have three sharps. Remembering that, let's go to our relative minor, F sharp, and we'll play those three sharps. There you go. Okay, so moving on.